Well, the, the biggest concern about this particular tropical storm is that uh, if it were to turn a little bit further to the north and maybe even to the east, they'd have to uh, watch it very carefully. And the reason they'd have to do that is because they need five days to evacuate the rigs and the vessels uh, that they have out there uh, working on the kill operations and the recovery operations. But uh, my gut feeling is if it uh, continues on its current path, over the next uh, 24 hours it'll probably uh, maintain at least one of those modeled paths and, uh, and it, sh it should be okay. And of course these cones of uncertainty have been getting uh, more and more uh, accurate through the years, but that's something that, uh, as again, they have to watch over the next 24 hours. It's going to be really critical in terms of whether it's going to turn to the north or not. Rarely do we get hurricanes forming in the Caribbean this early in the season, and consequently uh, that doesn't bode well for hurricanes in the future for this summer because it's, uh, you know, all the models say that we're going to get a lot of hurricanes and they're starting early, and, uh, and that is very worrisome for the people working on these operations because the last thing in the world they need is uh, a series of two or three or four hurricanes right after each other. That could shut down operations for a month if, uh, if we had several hurricanes come in one after the other. And they, they wouldn't have to be large hurricanes, just you know, category one, category two would be enough to cause problems. One thing, they have a lot of small vessels out there in the recovery. They would definitely have to get out of the way and be uh, stored somewhere onshore or actually moved, uh, their bigger vessels moved to say Florida or someplace farther to the east that's not gonna be affected. And then, uh, of course, they've got a lot of personnel that are on the beach, working on the beaches. And that just adds to the traffic that needs to uh, evacuate if the hurricane comes in that direction. Then when you talk about the relief wells, you also have to worry about all the rigs need to be shut in and, uh, or shut down. The, uh, the relief effort itself or the capturing effort would have to be shut off. And uh, when that's shut off, you would get the full flow of the, uh, the blowout. Uh, while they're gone and uh, like I said it would take them about five days to evacuate they'd probably leave a few people there almost up to the the final 24 hours if that were the case and then get them out of the way and have make sure everything's secure and then uh, and then it could flow for a week to two weeks depending on how long it took them to get back to the area